sing a song, page 284. Our Wednesday night crowd is getting lower. 284, we got some people. We got a lot of people watching. 284. Yes. Only one song today? 284. Um, it's so sweet. And we will get out of the way here. Sing page 284. Let's see if I'm in voice tonight. Okay. <clears throat> Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know. That saith the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to trust His cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing blood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust Him more. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus, just from sin and self to cease, just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I proved Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust Thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that Thou art with me, will be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him. Him more. All right, over here, 359. This is one of my favorites. I like this. All right, 359. <coughs> Bring in the seeds. <clears throat> sowing in the morning, sowing seeds of kindness, sowing in the noontide and the dewy eve, waiting for the harvest. And the time of reaping, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. 
Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, sowing in the sunshine, sowing in the shadows, fearing neither clouds nor winter chilling breeze. By and by the harvest and the labor ended, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, we shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves, going forth with weeping, sowing for the master. Though the loss of stain, our spirit often grieves. When our weeping's over, he will bid us welcome. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. We read emails to the people out there who sent them, and we read some letters and uh, phone calls. We got all kinds of phone calls. Getting lots of phone calls and bunches Mike. of... Mike! Mike! Your mic! Oh. <laughs> Making me waste my time talking to you. <laughs> I'll say that again. <coughs> All right, we always read emails and, uh, and letters before we start. We got several of them. We get lots of phone calls. I mean... We're on TV in about 200 different towns and cities from Los Angeles and San Francisco and up in the Seattle area and over in Chicago and a whole bunch of places in between all over the state of Kansas, a bunch of towns in Kansas. And then then we're also uh, on in uh, all up and down the eastern seaboard, Chicago, over in New York, uh, all the boroughs of New York City, and uh, then we're uh, up and down the eastern seaboard in Philadelphia and Boston and Charleston, South Carolina and uh, Washington, D.C. and Miami, Florida and down in Atlanta and all over Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Beaumont, San Antonio, Austin, a bunch of other places, Dayton, Ohio, Roanoke, Virginia, long list of them and these are a lot of the responses that we get and I share them with you because I want you to know how how much uh, people evidently seem to be really enjoying these messages Marvin Brooks writes he's a very faithful supporter of this message he's in Arlington Tennessee Hello, Grace. Hello, Jim, Mary, Grace, and Truth family. I would like to know if I could receive a copy of the paper on the Beast System, message 3588. I don't know what paper that is. That was presented on September 18, 2016, and any other related articles. May God continue to bless you in this great work he has given you. Thank you so much, Marvin Brooks, Arlington, Tennessee. Thank you, Marvin. John Swallows the second writes to us. John used to come here, be in church here, but he's up in Ohio now. Hello, everyone at Grace and Truth. This is John David Swallows the second in Caring, Ohio. I think 
the last number DVD I have is 3384. So I'm in severe withdrawals, okay? Please send me my fix, 3585 forward. Please never take me off the mailing list, nor till I die, which you will know, because Great and Truth is always listed as my benefactor. It might only be a dime, but whatever I am worth when I pass, it's yours. As for right now, I have zero income as I live in HVMO property and li live on pantry food and food stamps. But my attorney tells me that within six months, I could be getting SSD. When I do, you will know. Thanks. John Swallows the second, Kettering, Ohio. Well, John, it's good to hear from you. We love you, John. You take care and keep writing. Uh, Judy Moyers in Canton, Mississippi writes to us. I'm glad to get the DVDs. Thank you all for sending them. I am concerned about our rights to view Christian channels on the Internet, YouTube, and think that that freedom could be threatened with the changing <coughs> changes happening. Please keep up the great work and be on the mailing list. I've had some occurrences a non-Christian would never, ever believe. Well, a whole bunch of people here have had those occurrences. Nothing terrible or dramatic happened, but things that could be called God winks. Be, to wink means to shut the eye. That's what it means. Be safe, and I am grateful to the Lord for giving you all the strength for your dedication to spread the word. I'm sure... It can get overwhelming at times. It does. I ask the Lord to continue to watch over you and your families as he has me. I'm sending a donation on PayPal tomorrow. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and God bless y'all. Judy Moyers in Canton, Mississippi. I got another one here. Jan Menville Mack, she's been writing for years. Uh, she used to have another name. Thanks so much. Received DVDs in the mail today. Your math and taste in the logos. Uh, Jan Melville Mack in New Orleans, Louisiana. Jermaine and, uh, and Andrea Griffin in Cop Copag, New York. Please keep sending the DVDs. Jermaine and I are now married and am studying with Myra from New York. Stay well. We need your teachings. Thank you for your knowledge. Jermaine and Andrew Griffin in New York. Jason A. commented on, this is a YouTube comment, on Statement of Faith, Part 18, The Real Meaning of Tongues. There's a confusion of tongues in the American pulpits. No definition. Jason A. Uh, writes, I watched most of your fearless message of truth and thank God for the teachers like you and other reformers. Watch out what you caught up with because some of those guys are not telling the truth. Uh, here's a YouTube comment. It's on the doctrine of the devil, consequences of being led away, deceived and seduced. Nick DiStefano, he's out in Tucson, uh, writes, Jim Brown is preaching the truth. All right, thank you. And I got an email here. It's really, it's really touched my heart. I'm really thrilled at the words because it sounds like they've really been, really been touched by this message. Good evening, Jim. My name is Jane, and I live in Chester in the northwest of England. I've been listening to you on YouTube for a couple of months. Was wondering if you would maybe have time to communicate via email. You speak truth, yet it is such difficult teaching. It's difficult to swallow is what she's talking about. Yet it speaks to my very being. I'm not very learned in biblical terms, but I do know my God. I know my depravity. These two facts are the heart of my relationship with the Lord. 
and I long to know him more. His word, his character, his attributes, the all-consuming work of Jesus, my Redeemer. My heart is open, though it makes me makes my flesh scream in rebellion. Be encouraged, Jim. I'm an ordinary wife and mom. Mom, mom, that's the way they say that. In an ordinary town, yet you have spoken words of truth to my husband and myself that have resulted in some life-changing decisions. Here's hoping you have time to reply and keep on preaching the whole truth. God bless you, Jim. And that's from Jane. Well, thank you so much, Jane. I got one more here. I'll, I may read that Sunday morning. That's really, really good. Uh, Sarah Blackman in Utah writes to us, Hi, Sarah. How you doing? All the gang. Dear Jim, I know I just wrote a few days ago, but I've been wondering about something for some time. I know I'm a long way from you guys, but would really like to help with the ministry somehow. I don't know if this would work or not, but I was wondering if there was a way to get close captioning software for the hearing impaired. I'm a fairly fast typist and could type out your messages. I listen to them over and over again. I'm not sure how to go about doing it, but if there is a way, I would like to help. If there's not possible, would sure like to help any way I can. I love you all. Thanks again. Sarah Blackman in Utah. She used to live here. Her mom came here to the church. And uh, dear sweet lady, we love you very much. I will. I got a couple others, but I'll read them later. Um, I'm, I get caught up so much with these. All right. And I got. I got a bunch of phone calls that have come in from all over the country from TV. Uh, I read a few of those. I just can't get to everything. Got some letters. Most of what we get is email and phone calls. Uh, Aldo Menendez calls us from California. Manuel Burris out in Oklahoma City, Ricky Jenkins in Oklahoma City, William Hill from Chicago called us, uh, Inela Nice, N-A-I-C-E, uh, in Chicago, uh, Daniel Friend, I can't, I couldn't, you're going to have to write us back, I couldn't understand. I will say on my answer machine, this is Jim Brown. I'm Bible teacher at Grace and Truth Ministries. If you leave, you leave your name and your address and spell it all out clear so I can understand. And they will say, this is David, D-A-V-I-D, Frizzlepot. <laughs> and then I live at 12, 13, they make sure I get their first name, but I cannot send a DVD to you just because you got a real clear first name. I have to know a real clear address. I'd rather your name would be smudged than the address. You got to make it clear. I live in an apartment, five, fourth and three. Fourth and three. And I'm good. I say, Mary, listen to this. And we'll listen to sometimes. 12 or 15 times. I, I, can't, I can't get that. You're going to have to be clear on your address above everything. What town you're in, what the zip code is, and your address. If you want to fluff your, mess up something, mess up your name. At least it'll get to the address. And Daniel Friend, or Vren, or something like that. Faye Jackson called from Atlanta, and she's a dear lady. She supports us, been with us quite a while, several years. Uh, Juan Madrano, he, I remember him calling. Keep on the list. He, said he loves the message. Uh, 
Manny Ree uh, in Chicago, Wilma Valdez in Chicago. This lady said Jim Brown, and I thought she said Jim Brown, June Brown, J-U-N-E, in Chicago. Lamon Davis, Dallas, Texas. Derwin Walker, St. Paul, Minnesota. Just a call to tell you how much I love this truth. Stay strong. Uh, Barbara Norkin up in, in uh, New York. Uh, Tommy Brown in Chicago, Illinois. And then Glenn Hilton in Chicago. Bertha Hunt in Chicago, Illinois. And they all want DVDs. And I got these letters. I won't read them. Uh, Silvano Garcia in Marble Falls, Texas, and uh, Oswald and Denise Sandy in Brooklyn, New York, Elizabeth Taylor in Dayton, Ohio, and Conwell Scott. Hey, Conwell. Uh, Buna Park, California, Sharon Marshall from Grand Prairie, Texas. All right. That'll be enough reading. I'll make our announcements quick. We are on TV all over the country, and we're on the Internet 24 hours a day around the clock preaching. So if you like what we're preaching, we've got about 500 messages on the Internet. You can look at them all day long, all night. And uh, we actually got 3,602 messages after this one. And uh, that's a lot of messages, an hour and a half apiece, so... 3,600 hours for an hour and 1,801 more than that. So uh, lots of messages, lots of time to watch and learn. We uh, support our needy people. we got a bunch of needy people, and we give away quite a bit each month to those people. If you want to help the needy believers, and they are believers, Sometimes they can't get enough money to buy groceries or, or put gas in their cars if they have one. They can't repair their cars. We've repaired a lot of cars. We've given away about 14, 15 cars in the last six years, but they weren't new. They were older cars. So uh, you want to support these believers, you put your check in the mail, make it out to grace and truth, and put uh, benevolent fund or put believers, put needy on it. That's the best thing to put on there. And uh, Or you can send gift cards to these folks. Some of them just, they can't hardly keep their head above water. And we support Scott and Delilah Wari, our missionaries down in Ecuador. They're going to move their operations up here and work from here. And what they're going to do is keep on preaching on the internet in Spanish and preaching the message I preach here you want to help them make the check to grace and truth and put on the bottom of it put uh, missionaries alright well let's go to the Lord in prayer and uh, Phil huh? oh did he let yeah. oh, okay well, I guess we'll have to have... Uh, who else is back there? Tim. Well, Tim, why don't you come out and pray for us? You hadn't prayed. Did you remember how? Uh, you don't have to come up here. Okay. Thank you, Father, for this fellowship at Hendersonville. Help Jim as he preaches the message around, around the world. Help us here in this area. I know by these emails that we get and the letters we get, there's a lot of people watching out there. We don't have a lot of people here, especially on Wednesday night. There's a world of people out here listening. And uh, 
if you want to support these people and it takes it takes a lot to support us here some people will send to the missions missionaries and to the needy but they don't send anything for the support of the ministry and that's okay we're not i'm not complaining i'm just saying we've got about twelve thousand dollars a month in tv bill that we have to pay if we didn't have those people out there have you we wouldn't pay them and uh we've got a full-time staff here five people and uh when you're preaching the message i'm preaching you don't have many people it's just not going to happen you can't have a mega church preaching daily cross death to self self-denial god doesn't love everybody and christmas is pagan that that will cut most of the world well i'm ready